Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a declutter. This is a long time coming. Specifically my lip collection. I feel like I have a lot of glosses and products that I just can't use all of them. I am going to try and go through these and narrow them down a little bit. Hopefully I can make my collection a little bit smaller and declutter some things. Yeah, this is just... A lot so i hope you guys are having a great day if you guys are new here hi my name is vivian i'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related i love trying new products but i definitely never want my collection to be unmanageable i don't want to be over consuming so i try to do declutters every once in a while and the products that i can donate i will donate or they will be given to friends and family whoever wants them so i have a lot of products nothing is going to go to waste and i never want them to go to waste but this is just more more than I can possibly use by myself. So with all that being said, let's just hop into it. So I have all of this stuff here. Nothing is really like set up in a nice way. They're kind of all just jumbled together. I am gonna go through and just kind of pick out the products that I know that I don't want but we're gonna go through all of them probably swatch all of them and just make sure that the ones that I keep in my collection are ones that I truly enjoy right off the bat I have three of these Burt's Bees lip balms that I just never use they're just not a formula that I enjoy I don't really know how I've somehow amassed three of them but I am gonna declutter these I'm gonna give them away to friends and family whoever wants them something that I know that I I want to keep are all of my Tower 28 glosses. So I have three of them here. I have the shade Spicy, which is this bright red one. I have this one in the shade Magic, which is this clear with like gold shimmers. And then I have the collab they did with Way, which is just a clear gloss, but it smells like the St. Bart's product, if that makes sense. So I'm going to keep all three of these. I love all of them one of my like go-to products this is just not going anywhere so keeping these something else that i know that i want to keep is this from roman this is the glassing melting balm this is in the shade 13 scotch nude i think this is a really pretty product it's really easy to apply i love the color of this it's not too opaque either i think this is just a stunning product the formula of it is nice the packaging is cute and it just feels really comfortable on the lips so i'm gonna keep that something that's very similar that's not quite like exactly the same but very very similar is this from m cosmetics this is the lip cushion in the shade van gogh you can see that is pretty much the exact same shade so i don't really need both of them but i have both so it might be a little bit excessive to keep both of them but we're doing it anyway i really like both of those formulas i think they're really good i just truly enjoy them something that i am going to declutter is this from rare beauty this is the lip souffle in the shade inspire this is just a little mini size of it but i just don't like this formula it's one of those like whipped matte moussey textures and i just don't think this looks good on my lips so i am gonna declutter this i don't think i would ever use it and i have a couple of other like red product red lip products that i would reach for over this one at all times so i'm gonna declutter this lip balms i am pretty much keeping all of them i have several different ones like sprinkled throughout here these are the four like unique formulas that i have i believe so the tower 28 lip softy this is in the shade ube vanilla this is super pretty love this super comfortable on the lips lightweight but still hydrating so love that the laneige lip glowy balm also a really good product also so very comfortable a little bit thicker i typically use this as like a nourishing night mask type of formula so definitely keeping this as well the summer fridays lip butter balm this one specifically is in the shade cherry but you guys know i have literally every single summer fridays lip butter balm that's not that's a lie not literally every but most of the summer fridays lip butter balm so definitely a keep love these and then this one is not my favorite actually this is from grown alchemist this is a lip balm in the vanilla watermelon scent i just don't love this i don't really like the applicator of it either it's like a squeeze out tube but it has no lip like applicator so it just kind of gets messy i think i'd gonna declutter this because it's not my favorite formula first of all the scent of it is nice but i just hate the packaging of this and 
if I have so many lip balms, I feel like I would reach for those over this one. So I'm gonna declutter this one. A mini of the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige, definitely a keep. Let's see what else I have in here. I have several different lipsticks. I think my lipsticks is what I need to go through the most. So let's do these three from Merit first. So I have two of their original, the signature lip in the shade Slip and Levenu, and then I have one in their matte signature lip in the shade Classic. Let's give these a little swatch. So this is the shade Slip. This is Levenu, and then this is the matte in the shade Classic. I think I'm gonna keep slip and Levenu, and I think I'm going to declutter classic. It's not my favorite formula, but also the shade is not something that I would, you can't even see that. The shade is just not something that I would typically reach for. I feel like this is just more like too pink for what I typically go for. So I'm going to keep slip and Levenu, get rid of classic. A another product, lip product that I think I'm going to declutter is actually the Glossier Ultra Lip. This is in the shade Cache. I think I just have very similar products. This one is slightly too dark for what I typically go for. And I, like I said, these two are very similar and I like these shades better. The Roman Juicy Lasting Tint and the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion. So I'm going to declutter the Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Cache. So these three are very new in my collection. They're from Nabla. I was sent these from Nabla and I have two of their Beyond Jelly Sheer Lipsticks. And then I also have their Beyond Blurry Sheer Lipstick in the shade Dea. So this one's a matte formula and these two are glossy. Let's give them a quick little swatch. This is the shade Dea in the matte version. This is the shade Libido. And then this is the shade Sapphire. So Libido and Sapphire, I'm definitely gonna keep. The matte one in the shade Dea, I think is gonna be a maybe. I just don't typically reach for this shade and it's a bit too purple cool tone like mauvey tone for what I typically go for so this is a maybe I'm gonna think on that a little bit longer I have two of the Vive satin slip lipsticks I have the shades deep love and kink this one here is deep love I'm running out of space so that's deep love and this is kink i think i prefer the shade of kink over the shade of deep love again i don't really typically reach for anything that's more of like this purpley tone i think i'd rather reach for kink so i'm gonna keep kink and then get rid of the shade deep love this is from victoria beckham beauty this is their posh lipstick in the shade twist this one from what i remember is slightly more pink than i typically reach for but let's Give it a swatch. It is slightly more pink than I reach for, but I think it's still neutral leaning. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. This doesn't look as pink as like this one from Merit. I think this one is more my style. So keeping this. I have a few other lip sticks. So this one is from Rare Beauty. It's their matte lipstick in the shade Bold. I am probably gonna keep this. This is one of my like all time favorites. Um, I just really like that tone on me. So I'm gonna keep Rare Beauty. And I have two mini Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have the shade Supermodel and the shade Walk of No Shame. This is Supermodel and then this is Walk of No Shame. I think I'm going to declutter Supermodel. I'm going to keep Walk of No Shame. Again, I just generally don't really gravitate towards these more pinky mauve tones. I typically reach for like berry tones if I'm going to go in with a lipstick. This is from NYX. This is their Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Crisp. I don't remember ever buying this, so I feel like this had to have been like a gift with purchase. I think that's actually really pretty, so I think I'm going to keep this. I don't reach for it often, but I feel like I should. It's not a sticky formula, and I like how sheer it is, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Refai lip gloss in the shade Red. I think I'm going to keep that too. I think that's really pretty and nice and sheer, and I really like the applicator of the Refai glosses. It just feels very comfortable. This is the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade Devoted to Chili. I I want to I want to keep it because it's like brighter than the other two that I reach for typically I think I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep devoted to chili I think that's really pretty I'm running out of space so I guess I'm just gonna switch sides of my arms um I have a ton of different glosses here and lip stains so let's first start off with this one from elf this is the the glow reviver lip oil i have mine in the shade jam session it's a really thick typical like lip oil formula nice and sheer 
nothing super special about it. It does have a slight mint tingling feeling. They're very similar to the Dior Glow Reviver or the Lip Glow Oil. This one is in the shade Rosewood. Again, big doe foot, pretty sheer. I'm gonna keep both of these. I think they're both really pretty. Um, like they are very sheer, like I said, so you can't really tell the difference between them, but I like both of them, so I'm gonna keep them. I have this lip gloss from Dior as well. This is the Dior Addict Lip Luminizer in the shade 003. I just really like the pink holographicness of this. I feel like it looks really pretty and can be very fun for specific vibes that I'm going for. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have three of the four of the Merit Shade Slicks. I have the shades Marrakesh, Falcon, Cara Cara, and then I have the Jelly Shade Slick in the shade Mapleton. I am gonna keep Mapleton. I feel like this is also just a clear gloss. It is pH changing, so it actually does turn into like a bright pink tint but I really like that, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then the other three Merit ones, I feel like I don't reach for Cara Cara. I feel like the idea of Cara Cara makes me want to keep it because it is an orange and I don't typically have any other oranges like that in my collection, but I feel like I don't use it enough to warrant it. The shade Falcon is really pretty in the fall time, but again, I feel like I don't reach for it very often anymore. And then the shade Marrakesh is currently in my shop, my stash. This one I have been reaching for a lot. I think my preferences have just changed and I just don't reach for Cara Cara or Falcon. So I, I think I'm gonna declutter those. I feel like I don't need them in my collection. The In Beauty Glaze Lip Oil. This is the Mystery Glaze, which is like a pH changing lip oil. I think this is pretty, good formula just a thick lip oil, kind of similar to the Dior one and the e.l.f. one. I like the way this one smells a lot, so I'm gonna keep this one. I have this one from Vive. This is their Lip Dew Glossy Lip Oil in the shade Rosa, which I believe is still pretty sheer, just has like a slight pink tint to it. I am gonna keep this one as well. I feel like that's pretty. I feel like I'd use it. And I have a little mini of the Lip Dew in this shade. I don't know what shade this is. It's their like normal sparkly one, which is just another pretty sparkly gloss that I don't have a ton of. So I'm going to keep this one as well. This isn't even all of my lip collection because I do have a couple things just like stored at my boyfriend's. This is from Milani. This is the fruit fetish lip oil in the shade blackberry agave. I think this is really pretty. I, this is actually one of my favorite lip oils, so I'm gonna keep this one for sure. Much more of a pigmented formula than others, but I think it's really pretty, so I'm gonna keep this one. This one is from Summer Fridays. This is in the shade Rosewood Nights. It's their Dream Lip Oil. This is pretty new. I do also really like this, so I'm gonna keep this. Not as sheer as some of them, but definitely not as pigmented as the Milani one. Um, this one's also just a lot more lightweight, like more of a true oil feeling, so I am gonna keep this one as well. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Balm tinted whatever lip balm they have. This is in the shade Nearly Petal. I actually think this is a really pretty formula. It's very comfortable on the lips and it's just kind of this like light milky pink, pretty much clear shade. So I'm gonna keep this as well. I do think it looks really nice and is really hydrating. And I'm running out of space, so I'm just gonna do like the back of my arm here. I have a few of the Romand Juicy Lasting Tints. I have the shades 23 Nucadamia and 24 Peeling Angdu. So this one is Nucadamia. This one is probably my most reached for. And then this one is 24 Peeling Angdu, which is a little bit brighter, but still really pretty. So this is Nucadamia, this is Peeling Angdu. I'm gonna keep both of them. I love both of them. These are just really good formulas. Really like them. I also have this one from Roman. This is the Glasting Water Tint in the shade 3 Brick River. I think this one is maybe a bit more not my shade. It's more of like a orangey brown, red, brick red, and I don't like that on myself. So I think I'm gonna declutter this one as well. The formula was really nice. I just prefer the shades of the other two water tints that I have. So I'm gonna declutter that one. I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Tinted Love. 
I have not used this in a really long time and I also don't think it is the best like lip tint out there. I do really like the shade of this. This is in the shade Tripping on Love and I do like that on my lips. So I think I'm gonna give it one more go and if I like it, then I'll keep it. But if I don't end up using it in the next like couple weeks, couple months, I'm going to declutter it. It's going to stay for now though. I think the shade of it is really pretty. And then the last thing we have is the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Hope. These are very similar to the Roman Juicy Lasting Tints. This one is more of a bright pink. And I typically don't reach for bright pinks like this, but when it does dry down, I like the shade of it. And I really like this in combo with like a mauve lip liner. Something about it just looks really pretty. I like the ombre effect of it, but I don't typically reach for this on its own. I do think that's really pretty though. So I think I am gonna keep it for now. Maybe that'll change. And then as far as the Nabla lipstick goes, I think I'm just gonna declutter it. I just don't see myself reaching for this shade a ton. I just know myself and my preferences in makeup and lip products, and I just feel like I won't reach for it. The product itself was really nice, though. I really liked the formula. I just don't love the shade, and I don't typically reach for, like, matte products like this, so I am going to declutter this. So that is everything. This is everything that I am decluttering. I feel like that is a pretty, pretty good amount. At 13, I feel like is a pretty good amount. I know that I still have an excessive lip collection, but this feels slightly more manageable than what I had before. And then this is everything that I'm keeping. Definitely a lot. Still like 34 products, but it still feels more manageable than what I had before. That is everything lip product wise. I do have two other non lip product declutters, but for the most part, everything else is gonna stay pretty consistent in my collection. The first thing is the Misha BB cream. I have this one in the shade 25, and I just think it gets too oily throughout the day, and I think the formula is too thick for what I typically like and prefer in a foundation. So I am gonna declutter this one. I feel like there's still a lot of product in here. Maybe my mom would like it more. I just feel like I have others in my collection that I always reach for over this one, and I don't want this one to go to waste because it's still a good product. And then the other thing I'm gonna declutter is the Catrice Magic Shaper Contour and Glow Stick. I just have a lot of cream contours in my collection and this one doesn't really stand out to me. I don't really like the highlighter side and I just, I feel like there are other products that I will prefer and reach more reach for over this one. So I'm gonna declutter this as well. And that is pretty much everything for this video. So I know that this isn't a ton, a ton of stuff, but I do feel pretty good about where my collection is at in terms of lip products. It feels a little bit nicer to just be able to declutter some of these. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.